Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining our COVID-19 stats video for the CDC Week 52. I'm Sarah, epidemiologist at the Jefferson County Health Department, and tonight we are going to briefly review data from Sunday, December 20th to Saturday, December 26th. We had an overall weekly case count of 620 confirmed and probable cases. Our year-to-date total is now 16,000. 145 confirmed and probable cases as of week 52. During week 52, we reported 124 COVID-19 associated deaths, as well as 23 outbreaks in our long-term care facilities. Figure one shows the number of confirmed and probable cases by week. Our weekly case count of 620 is the lowest that we have seen since late October. Only 13 of these cases were in our long-term care facilities last week. We use this weekly case number to calculate our new cases per 100,000 per week, which is one of the main White House indicators. During week 52, our new cases per 100,000 per week was 275, which still categorizes us as red on the color chart. However, we are seeing things move in the right direction. As we look at a breakdown of the daily case numbers and that seven day rolling average of cases, we can see that despite the daily fluctuations, we have generally been experiencing a decreasing trend in our daily case numbers. The seven day rolling average is another one of those main indicators on our color chart. And even with that decrease, we still remain in the red status for the, this particular indicator as well. In figure four, our cases are divided up by age group. Our zero to 19 year school age group has almost 14% of our overall cases. And we are still seeing the highest number of cumulative cases in our 50 to 59 year age group with 2,625 cases. Our cumulative fatality rate in Jefferson County is 0.77%. Missouri's fatality rate is 1.39%. And the fatality rate for the US is 1.74%. We have been updating the death count each Wednesday. So any new fatalities reported today will be reflected in the week 53 report that is released next week. Another main indicator on our color chart is the positivity rate. Table three shows the number of positive tests, negative tests, and that weekly percent positive rate. During week 52, we had 545 confirmed PCR positive tests, making that percent positive rate 24.5%. With the newest White House metrics that were released in late November, any positivity rate over 20% puts us in that dark red category, which is the most severe category for this particular metric. In order to get out of the red completely, our percent positive needs to be below 10%. Once again, thank you all for listening in and watching our stats report this evening. Please be sure to refer back to our website, jeffcohealth.org for more details and recommendations on COVID-19. Have a safe and healthy rest of the week as well as a healthy start to 2021.